Okay then my friends, so we're doing pretty well here and we've covered quite a lot of the basic topics to make a simple little application. I think we're at the point now though where I want to introduce another data type or resource and so we'll need a model for that resource, a migration file to make the table for it, a factory maybe and also a cedar file. So we'll make those in a moment but first of all what is this resource going to be? Well I want to make one called dojo or dojos. And the dojos are going to have a name column, a description column, and a location column. Beyond that, I also want to form some kind of relationship between ninja records and dojo records, whereby each ninja belongs to a single dojo. And to do this, we need to use what's known as a foreign key, which is basically a key or an ID column which references the ID of a different resource. So as a quick visual example, I've made these little table diagrams down here, one table for the ninja resource and one for the dojo resource. Now in the ninja table, we can see all the current columns, but we can also see another column at the end called dojo underscore ID. And in this example, that dojo ID is the foreign key column, and it refers to the ID column on the dojo table. Typically as well, your foreign key column will be named like this. So the resource name, then an underscore ID. So then, for the first ninja, we would have maybe a dojo ID value of three. And that means that this ninja record belongs to the dojo with an ID of three from the dojo's table. The second ninja has a dojo ID of one. So that means that uh, this ninja belongs to the dojo with an ID of one in the dojo's table. Also, in this relationship, multiple ninjas can belong to the same dojo. And you can see that because some ninja records here have the same dojo ID value. And so this relationship is called a many to one relationship where many ninja records can belong to one single dojo record. So this is how we are going to form the relationship between two tables by adding this foreign key column to refer to a second table. Right. So we're going to set this foreign key up shortly. But to begin with, we need to make a dojo model along with that migration file for it, a factory file and also a cedar file. So Let's open up the terminal now and we're going to run the command php artisan make then a colon and then we're going to make a model. The model name is going to be dojo and then we're going to say dash mfs to add the migration factory and cedar file as well to do this. All right then so now all of those files should be created. You can see we've got the dojo model over here. Um, if we go down into the database folder, we should see a factory for the dojo uh, and a migration for the dojo right at the bottom here. And in fact, this is where we're going to start the migration for the dojo. So you can see the table name there, dojos. Now we just need to add a few columns. So the first one, we'll say table, and then we're going to use a string. And this is going to be for the name column, so the name of the dojo. The next one, I'm going to say table, and then this time we'll say text. This is going to be for the description of the dojo. And then after that, we'll do a third one, which is also going to be a string. And this is going to be for the location of the dojo. All right, so that's pretty much it for the migration file. We'll run the migration later to create the table. For now, let's close that. And I'd like to go to the model itself because we need to specify the fillable fields, much like we did for the ninja over here. All right, so let's go to the dojo and do that. I'm just going to paste this in. Oops, what's going on here? I've done that too early. Let me just paste it in. So we have a protected field called fillable and we say the name, location and description are fillable for mass assignment. So let's save that file. Once we've done that, we'll go to the factory file and we're going to set up that for the dojo as well. Now, if we take a look at the Ninja Factory, it looks something like this, where we specify the column names and then we use the Faker API to generate some random uh, text or numbers in the skill case for the fields. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go over here and paste those in there. We can just change them. So the name is going to be the same key, but this time we'll use a company name instead of a person name. Uh, the bio, we need to change to location and this is going to be a city so let's get rid of this one and we can use the city function to give us a random city down here we need to change skill to description and then we will create a paragraph here so paragraph like so and we'll say 10 
right here. I think that's the number of sentences, if I'm not mistaken. If we hover over this, yeah, we can see the number of sentences. So 10. All right, so that is the factory created. Finally, we also need to go to the cedar file down here, the dojo cedar. And again, let's go to the ninja cedar to see what we did. We said ninja factory count. Then we said 50 and then create. Now we're not going to create 50 records for the dojo, but we are going to do the same kind of thing. So let me copy that, come down here and paste it in. We need to change ninja to dojo. Click on this and it's going to import that namespace for us. And then we just want 10 dojo records. All right, so once we've done that, remember, this is not going to run automatically. We need to go to the database cedar and we need to call it manually. So what I'm going to do is come above the ninja cedar and I'm going to say dojo cedar this time. Click on this to use the namespace. In fact, we don't need to use the namespace because we're in the same folder. And then we just need to say class on the end like so. Now it's important that we put the dojo cedar first and I'll explain why later on, but for now just make sure that this is above the ninja cedar so that we're seeding the dojo table before the ninja table. All right, so let's save that now and crack on. Okay then, so now we've made a model, a migration file and a factory for the dojo resource and now we need to form that relationship between the two models, the ninja model and the dojo model. So the first thing we need to do is head to the ninja's migration file and we're going to add a new column to the database for that foreign key, the dojo ID. So let's do that. We're going to open up the file and at the bottom we're going to add a new column by saying dollar sign table. This time we're going to use a special function to say what's in this column and that function is called foreign ID. Now as an argument we're going to pass the name of this column which is going to be dojo underscore ID. And remember this is a naming convention in Laravel whereby the first part is the name of the resource we're referencing followed by the underscore ID. This way Laravel knows which external table we're forming a relationship with. Okay, so additionally, I'm going to chain on two methods to this. The first one is called constrained, which automatically adds some rules or constraints to the column to ensure integrity between the two resources. In other words, it makes sure that each Ninja record must have a valid Dojo ID, which references an actual Dojo record, and it maintains that relationship. It also allows us to chain on another method called onDelete, which we can invoke and pass through an argument which is going to be cascade. So this means that when a dojo record is deleted, it's going to look for that dojo ID at the ninjas table and delete all the ninjas with that dojo ID. So essentially the delete event cascades from the dojo table to the ninjas table. And that makes sense because if we delete a dojo, then we shouldn't have a load of ninja records floating around that point to that dojo anymore because it doesn't exist. All right, so that's all we need to do to make this foreign ID column, but now we need to think about rerunning the migration to add this column. Also, we need to figure out how this column gets populated with IDs of actual dojo records. So then, remember, if we wanted to drop all the tables and rebuild them again, we could do that using the fresh migration option. We've seen that before. And we could pass the seed flag to make sure the tables were populated with new data. Now, if we did that right now, then yes, it's going to build the ninjas table to include that new foreign ID column. And yes, it's going to build the dojos table too. And it's going to populate them both with data because we have seeders for both. But there is a problem. The ninjas table won't have the dojo ID column populated with data because we don't specify that in the ninja factory. So let's solve that problem by heading to that ninja factory file. And currently inside here, we tell Faker to generate new ninja records by adding these three column values, the name, the skill and the bio. But now we also need one for the dojo ID. So let's add that one on at the end. Now, what should be the value of this? Well, it needs to be the ID value of a random dojo record. So to get this, we can first of all use the dojo model namespace in this file by saying up here at the top somewhere, use, and then the namespace, which is app backslash models backslash dojo. And then back down here, as a value for the dojo ID column, we can now say dojo, then double colon, followed by a method called in random order. So this queries the dojo table and it gets all the records, but it shuffles them into a random order. 
and then we can use a method on this called first to grab the first one of those records and then we can get the ID value from it. So essentially this gets us the ID of a single random dojo record in the dojo's table and it assigns that to the ninja record in this dojo ID column. And every time a new ninja record gets created this way by this factory, the dojo selected will be random and probably different. So we'll get a bunch of different dojo ID values for different ninjas. Now, since we're referencing the dojo model here and looking into the dojo's table, it's important that we already have dojo records set up at this point, which is why in the database cedar file, we call the dojo cedar before we call the ninja one to make sure we have that dojo data ready and available. So then, now everything's in place and we should be able to run a fresh migration to drop all the current tables, rebuild them all from scratch, and we'll have those tables seeded with new data. So let's give this a whirl. So let's open up a terminal and in here we can say PHP artisan, migrate, and then fresh, and then also double dash seed to seed the tables as well. Press enter. Hopefully this is all gonna work. But what I'm going to do now is just go to the database file over here. I'm going to refresh just to make sure any changes have been caught. Now we can see a dojos table right here. And in there, 10 different dojos. They all have a name, a description, and a location. Cool. So notice they have the ID 1 to 10. If we go to ninjas now, we should see the dojo ID column, which we do with a random ID between one and 10 to associate that ninja with a dojo. And you can see that some ninjas have the same dojo ID, because like I said, this is a many to one relationship. Each dojo has many ninjas that belong to it. 